Right everyone, Web Collector here. Right, I thought I'd do a new EDC video because I haven't done one for a while. So we'll just go through the, the normal EDC stuff. I'll be honest with you, my EDC doesn't change that much, but it, it does vary a little bit. But the good thing is there's always new viewers and also if I need a new item or you can recommend me something better than what I've already got, you know, it's a very useful thing for that. So let's go over it. So the first thing, I always got my phone. Um, yeah, if I can, I'd never go out without my phone because it's good for emergencies if you need it. If, if, if only that. My phone is just, um, it can go on the internet if you've got it on a Wi-Fi you know signal but um i can't go on it on the phone so when i take this when i take this out it's just a phone really um yeah and i sometimes keep some cards in there if need be but that is just a motorola g4 play so quite a simple phone my keys i have two sets of keys and i know this may sound weird but i sometimes have a what i call my indoor set of keys and my outdoor set of keys i have an indoor set of keys so that or sort of local keys if that makes sense. So if I'm in the local area or in my garden but late at night and the doors are shut, I'll have a set of keys on me. These are the outdoor keys. So these have some things so that if I was sort of out and about, it would have some things I could use out, if that makes sense. Because it's got things like a little pry bar and a, um, a radar key for disabled toilets now you're not going to need that in sort of your own garden or your you know in your local vicinity so yeah the only things of interest i would say are radar key that is a key that you can open disabled toilets and you know i, th I think that would be a handy thing you know i'm not disabled i don't need that key but i think being able to access toilets could be very handy for lots of different reasons that is possibly a bump key because i can't remember what that would be for Small little pry bar. I've got a couple of sets of window keys because I always find it handy to be able to open windows for lots of different reasons. Sometimes it could be an emergency reason. You may not want to smash the window. Sometimes I just go around people's houses and it's boiling hot and I want to open the windows and they've got their windows locked and they can't find the key. So, <laughs> you know. That is a little bottle opener and whistle. I've also got a small torch, this is just a cheap torch, funny thing is I did have a through night little um, flashlight, really good one, multiple modes and, and strobe, but it broke, so I've had to replace it with this one. If anyone knows any good little single AAA torches, let me know. Um, this is a little glass breaker and also a pen. But one thing about this, what makes it sort of legal to carry, Coubertons are not legal to carry. But this is not big enough to be a Coubertin. Um And it is, it's got a legitimate use. It is a pen and it is a glass breaker. And lastly on here should be handcuff key. Because you never know, why not? It doesn't take up much space. So that's my keys. Hearing aid box with the hearing aid and spare batteries. I've got a damaged ear, one ear is perfectly fine, the other ear I can barely hear out of, so there's my hearing aid, and I know I have some spare batteries in there, but that's that's just that, and I don't always carry the case, but the case is good, because if it starts raining, you can't really have the hearing aid out in the rain. If I can, I do carry a knife, depending on the circumstances, where I'm going, and stuff like that, but if it's in an area where I feel comfortable carrying this, because it is totally legal to carry anyway, but I still, you know, I still carry it in situations where I feel it's better to, you know, I'm not going to go to a pub with this in my pocket. I'm not going to, you know, go to sort of gatherings of multiple people with a knife in my pocket, you know, even if it's legal. But when I can and I feel it's appropriate, at the minute I tend to carry the Lansky Madrock. Lovely legal carry knife. Um, looks so big, it looks like it's not legal, but it is. And it doesn't lock. It's got a half stop, as you can see. Nice, strong back spring in that. And a nice sort of curved um, sheep's foot bill hook type blade, I suppose you call it. Not, not sheep's foot, more like a bill hook type blade. Yeah, they're quite inexpensive well for what they are 
Before I got one of these, I used to look at them and think, there's no way I'm spending 30 quid, 25 quid, 30 quid on a single blade non-locking knife. But when I got the Lansky World Legal and got my hands on one of these, I did think, yeah, I think for the price, they are worth that. They've got a nice, really deep um, pocket clip, so it'll carry right up to there, so you're barely going to see anything sticking out. I don't use pocket clips anyway, but yeah. I would recommend the Lansky World Eagle and the Lansky Madrock if you want a really good, large-looking legal carry knife. Because as I say, that's that's perfectly legal, but it looks bigger than it. You know, that blade is that's the same length as a Swiss Army pen knife. And one other thing I like about these, they have a reasonably big handle as well, so you can actually get your whole hand on it. So there's that. I also like to carry a stainless steel pen. This one again has a glass breaker on it. This is the Laix or Lakes L A I X um, 009. Uh, really nice pen this is. But being stainless steel, it's heavy. Um, yeah, and it's got a proper tungsten steel tip glass breaker on but uh very nice and long um yeah really good tactical stainless steel pen that is and then depending on whether it's night time or not i'll carry a torch and these can differ depending on where i'm going and what i'm using the torch for uh very close to the house or even in the garden i would probably use this one which is a cyansky h3 it's multiple mode flashlight and it also does different uh, colours. But I, it's a hunting light really. But um, I like the fact that it's got the, the easy to change settings. It's not really designed to be a pocket torch. But um, it's a nice powerful one. And to change the lenses you just twist. You just twist this collar here. And the lenses change inside, which I thought was quite a good concept. But again, as I mentioned, you don't really use that. If I was going a little bit further afield, or say it was very late at night and I was on my own, um, I prefer something like a mag light. Now this is a modded mag light, but it's still the exact si same size as a mag light. This takes a single 18650 battery. I've put a lanyard on it so that. While you're walking around, you don't even need to hold it, but the torch is just there, and then you can just swing it up, and then if you needed to do something with your hands, you can just drop it and do whatever. So yeah, I like having a lanyard on it. There's the button to change it, and this one has multiple modes, so it will go from low to high. Yeah, and that's that. It's you know, it's a modded mag light, but you can buy a mag light just that you know, just that size, and and get some upgrades for it. But you will have to do the lanyard yourself. And then the only other thing would be jackets. And the reason I say jackets is because, again, depending on how cold or hot it is, which one I would wear. So I've got a, what they call, what we call bomber jackets, flight jacket, whatever it is. Um, you know, you all know these. Or I would wear something like a Harrington if it was... Um, if it was a bit warmer, because this is a bit hot for us. This will make you a bit hot in hot weather. So the only thing I do carry in this jacket is I do carry a little tin with some sort of accessories in and a lighter. And I did carry a little spare torch, but um, all of the little spare torches I've got don't work at the minute. So in this little tin it's just a couple of little things that I feel I might need while I'm out. So. We've got some paper, I'll struggle to show you this because it'll all fall out otherwise. But I've got paper, a little bit of duct tape, some plasters, there's the lighter in there. That lighter's got a little torch on it, so that must be my spare torch. There's a pen in there, um, some painkillers, and just general stuff like that. Just some little extras if what when I'm out I might need, but you don't necessarily need them, but they're there in a little package. I also have a hearing aid, spare hearing aid battery in there. So that just sits in that pocket. And the exact same thing with this jacket. I have a similar tin. 
And basically every jacket I've got has got a little tin in it like that that has just some very basic extras so that while I'm out, if I needed a plaster, if I needed a hearing aid battery, if I needed a painkiller, it's there. So there you go, that is my EDC for summer 2022. If you're regular to the EDCs, you'll see that it doesn't change that often. But yeah, it, it always changes a little bit, but, but most of the stuff stays the same. Before I go, I would say if you've got a recommendation for a little AAA flashlight, let me know. But it has to be a, a single AAA one, um, and I'd rather it have a few modes if possible. Um, but yeah, right, there you go. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. And yeah, right, hope you enjoyed it. See you later.